All right, it is August already. It's actually August 9th, so we're a little bit late on this video, but I do want to review the games that have come and are coming to Game Pass this month because there's one in particular that I'm very excited for. There's another one that is one of my favorite all-time games ever, always. Uh, and so let's just talk about it real quick. Let's go over these games that are coming to Game Pass that we know of so far. What are their Metacritic scores and which ones should you be most excited for? If you haven't yet, hit that like button, subscribe to this channel. My name is X1 The Gamer. I'm actually traveling, hence this different look today. Uh, but we're going to sit down and do this. So the first one is a short hike, and I know nothing about a short hike. I've not seen this before. So I went and looked up the Metacritic score, and it's getting really decent scores, both from users and from critics. We've got an 88 overall here. So this may be one that you definitely want to check out. And again, this in my mind is exactly why Game Pass is such a valuable tool, why it's so the value is just there for gamers. Why it's great for us and, and why it's gonna have power going forward for Microsoft 100% is because a game like this that I would never check out. I would never check out a short hike. I don't know it. I've never heard of it. Why would I download and play it? Guess what? I'm gonna download this and try it out because I see this Metacritic score and probably play with my kids and see how it goes. Uh, a little about this game, follow the marked trails or explore the back country as you make your way to the summit. Along the way, meet other hikers, discover hidden treasures, and take in the world around you. Explore, I, explore the island any way you like. So it's literally an exploration <laughs> hiking game, which I love. But some of these reviews, look at a short hike from Gaming Age is really is a perfect experience. It's easily one of the best games I've played this year and I loved every minute of it, as well from a user who gave it a 10, a magical journey in a world that mixes Animal Crossing and Breath of the Wild. You cannot go wrong with either of those. Animal Crossing, fantastic game, a collector's dream game. So, uh, and then Breath of the Wild, obviously, do we need to say anything there? Just a masterpiece. So, a short hike, there you go. Coming, uh, may, maybe worth picking up uh, if you're interested in something like that. I know I definitely am. And here's the thing. Once again, I would not if this was not on Game Pass. Not that it's not a great game and that it wouldn't appeal to me. I just don't know about it. This is giving it exposure. That's the power of Game Pass. And so it benefits the developers. But guess what? It also benefits us as gamers. So absolutely huge. The next one that's coming is Airborne Kingdom. Doesn't look like it got as great as reviews. It's a Sky City Builder game. And I do remember watching trailers of this. Uh, and those games I'm, I, are hit or miss. Some of them are really good. Some of them are really not. I'm a very big City Skylines kind of guy. I'm a very big Age of Empires guy. Uh, currently, I'm jumping into Age of Wonders 4. Uh, you know, Crusader Kings 3 is up my alley. So I love city builders. I love simulation builders. Uh, those types of games. Uh, overall, 76, it looks very mixed. Uh, for this. So maybe a game that you want to check out uh, and you may be one of the ones that like it there. Then we have one of my favorite games ever and that is Limbo. Now Limbo is uh, Limbo is a game that what's the latest game that came out that reminds me of Limbo? Planet of Lana. If you guys know Planet of Lana, if you guys know Inside, this is from the same creators that did Inside. This was their first game. Inside actually came out afterwards, and it is fantastic. It's a very good game. Some people make fun of these types of games and call them walking simulators. <laughs> and I can see why, because you're really just going right or left, but there's puzzles involved with how it works. There's also fantastic, they tell story through sound in this game and evoke emotion that is just pure joy and incredibly rewarding. So if you've never played Limbo before, it is coming to Game Pass. This is a game worth checking out, 100%. It's got an 88 here, you can see over on Metacritic. Again, highly recommended. This came out in the three, Xbox 360 era. And again, one of those games that just create memories that never go away. I remember where I was when I played this game. I remember where I was when I finished playing this game. I was actually living at my brother's house. We were in between houses. We sold our house and waiting for a new one to be built. And I remember that. <laughs> uh, it's that it's that big of a game. It left that big of an impression on me. So that definitely worth it. Definitely worth checking out uh, and exposing to maybe a whole, whole new generation of gamers here with Limbo. And finally, the game that I'm most excited about is Everspace, baby. Everspace now has an 81 on the Metacritic score. Uh, so pretty decent, pretty decent Metacritic score. It's been out on PC for a while in preview mode. It is now on Game Pass this month, coming to Game Pass. Um, 
And I could not be more excited here. Let's take just take a look at gameplay here. In fact, let's fast forward and you'll see why. It is an open world sci-fi RPG. Oh, and just just look at it. Look at it. Uh, my my things are way off. I'm on a new screen here, so not everything is formatted correctly to this PC. But you fly around um, again, open open universe RPG. It looks tight. It looks good. Anytime. So the game that I played before this is uh, Elite Dangerous that I really like. This has very Elite Dangerous vibes. A little more interactive, less empty than an Elite Dangerous in my opinion so far. Uh, I've watched a lot of hours of gameplay of this, and I'm very excited. These types of games do fit, even though it came to preview on PC first. In my opinion, these kind of games do fit the Xbox and an Xbox controller really, really well. Space games, uh, space flight games in particular, the joysticks, it just seems to fit it. And it's just fun. It's fun to be in space. It's fun to be exploring in space. It's fun to be collecting resources and trading with others in space. And so this, for those reasons, this is my most anticipated game coming to Game Pass so far in the month of August. I would love to know what of those do you guys want to play? Are you guys most looking forward to? How do you rate overall what we know about Game Pass so far this month? I would give it a solid B. I don't think it's an A, uh, but I think it's a solid B. I think there's some good variety in there. Uh, again, Game Pass's power, once again, is in a game like A Short Hike, a game which I would otherwise have no interest in. Here's a game that I might check out now as a result, because there's no risk to me. And also, it gives you know the developer of Short Hike more exposure to their game, which seemingly is getting fantastic reviews. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to this channel. Again, let me know what game you're most looking forward to. How do you rate Game Pass for this month? In the comments below. My name is X1 The Gamer. We cover Xbox items, news, opinions, thoughtfulness, right here on this channel each and every single day. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.